Hi, I'm Natalie. And I'm Lawrence. Welcome back to Brazen Brits. Today, we're going to talk about a subject that I've been putting off <laughs> for two years. And the reasons why is because it changes all the time mm -hmm. and some provider that you love will change something and then people will get angry and so this, this is not a timeless video. Yeah. However, we are going to tell you all the internet options that we've used that we have used we want. whilst on the road <laughs> and there is a couple that we want <laughs> so anyway right let's roll the intro and then we'll get into it it really makes me wonder yeah it makes me wonder Before we get going, talking about internet options on the road, uh, this is part of our monthly collaboration um, with five other channels. We will list them all below and we'll put links to their videos. Uh, we all travel very differently in different rigs and we have different needs and wants and things like that. So um, I think this is going to be interesting. And we're in different parts of the country, so the internet's different everywhere. So That's a really good point. I didn't think I know. That. I think of those sometimes. All right. Well, the first one, right? Yes. The, here's the first one, okay. right? That we all know of is campground Wi Fi. Yes. Uh, it's been pretty rubbish everywhere crap. we've been. Yeah. Everywhere. It's been crap. Oh, so there was like two places where it was like, oh, okay, usable, but there other is. than that, we never even really check it now. Yeah. No, th so there's two places that it was usable. I do check it just to do a speed test, to, oh. just to check it every now and then when we get there, but it's normally <laughs> terrible. Um, yeah, so the two places were actually Tolona Ridge was fantastic. Yep. Um, and also Little Rock. Yeah, that, the one that right was in the amazing, center of Little Rock. Yeah. That was amazing. That was yeah. the fastest internet connection I've ever had until we got Starlink. More on that in a second. <laughs> so anyway, campground Wi Fi, don't ever rely on it. Yep. Uh, it's great for like really low, like just, just like web browsing, things like that streaming typically doesn't ever work um, especially because when you're streaming most other people are trying to stream as well so anyway campground Wi-Fi no don't do that um, all right the other one that most people have is your phone hotspot yep. normally works excellently when we look for campgrounds we check the cell signal uh, because we both work from the road um, and so we have AT&T and I think we get something like 15 gig a month on hotspot yeah something like that it's typically pretty good um, the, it is limited though yes it is so limited. I was gonna say that's our phones are unlimited right but the hotspots limited correct okay. yeah our phone data is unlimited but the although it is capped at like 23 gig yeah. and then we get deprioritized um but yeah the hotspot i think we have 15 gig each they may have upped it recently but either way we use so much data just uploading a youtube video is like four gig because mm -hmm. we do everything in 4k so just to give you an idea that doesn't give us a lot and also just to clarify for us the internet like Lawrence just said he works full-time on the road so and Zoom calls, so it has to be good internet mm -hmm. for that. But we also both play video games on Xbox Live, so we like a good internet yeah. source for that. And we both watch Netflix and other uh, formats yeah. that are out there. We both watch TV in the evening as well, so we use a lot of data. Is more my point here. So we do. you know, this even is when we're set outside chilling, we play like Jackbox, which uses yep. the internet and stuff. So it's yeah, everything we do relies on the internet. So that's even, and when we're away, it's imperative because we have all of our um, the security and everything is set up in the rig. It's all over the internet, so that yes. we can monitor the rig, especially if the dogs are here. Exactly. So, so I just thought I would clarify. Yes. Okay. All right. So hotspots are okay. They're a great backup. Yes. All right. Um, visible? Visible, yes. So this is another backup we have. Visible is about $25 a month, I think. Um, it's really good and reliable. It works off the Verizon network. Uh, and we can give you the link below. I think we may even have an affiliate of some kind, whatever. We'll put it below and see if we can save you some money <laughs> on this. We use this as a backup. Like, it's really good um, for... Same as, like, campground Wi-Fi, but it's more reliable. Um, it's very slow data. Not, like, really slow, but you can stream off it. Not great quality. Um, so that does work. Um, but it's, like, it's limited to, like, 5 meg, which is pretty slow. Where did you get that from? Oh, curiosity. Where did you hear about it? I don't know. Oh, okay. Just looked around for internet <laughs> stuff. I thought for 25 bucks a month it's worth trying. Oh, 
and I like having it as a backup. The other thing, and I don't think you're allowed to do this, but it actually works in our PepWave router. Uh, you can find a little hack for it to work, but typically you'll manage just use it as a phone service mm -hmm. and just a hotspot, but it does work in the PepWave. I'm not gonna leave the information because I don't think you're allowed to do it, but <laughs> please don't cut me off. Okay. Oh, hello. Arm I can hold it. Oh, you can hold it. <laughs> okay. good, my How exciting. Breaking. All right. Uh, okay, so the one that we've used like pretty much from the start is we actually, and again, I don't think you're allowed to do this either, I but I bought a little uh, AT&T hotspot and then I added a phone line on our phone yes. uh, program thing, uh, which monthly, which lowers everyone else's monthly. The more lines you add, the more discount you get. Um, and so we use that in a little hotspot and that has been fantastic. That's an that AT&T. The hotspot did, yeah, the battery <sighs> blew up. Literally, it popped the whole case open and everything. So, so not 100% recommended. Yeah, the hotspot isn't great, but no, honestly, it works really well. Um, so basically, the reason, and we use that typically as our primary mm -hmm. one yeah. that we use, um, and it's been fantastic. Again, it's it's just a normal cell phone thing. So after like 23 gig, you get deprioritized, but it's always been fantastic for us, hmm. um, and we keep that, and that costs us like 55 dollars a month, something like that. All right, the one that. Uh, we have got and we love but has issues is Starlink. Uh, when it works, it is fantastic. <laughs> when um, it works. Again, the problem was that the best place we found it worked was at Talona Ridge. There was yeah. no obstructions at all. No trees, nothing. And we were getting fantastic speeds and it was really reliable. Annoyingly, their Wi-Fi in the campground was really good yeah. as well. So we just flicked between the two. But Starlink is fantastic. It does work really well. A couple of issues we've had is sometimes uh, if there is some trees, just even just one little bit, it will cut out for a minute, mm -hmm. which is fine. If you're streaming, because it buffers stuff, right? It will just work perfectly. So if you're streaming, web browsing, you might have a, a couple of minutes where it cuts out. But if you're streaming, it buffers everything. So it doesn't matter. It's, it's already downloaded the file and it will keep going. If you're on video calls, you need that instant internet. It mm -hmm. can cut off. So we know a few people have had issues with that. So for us, I mean, they've just put the price up as well, which is annoying because now it's at, before it was like 125 a month or 135 a month, something like that. And it was okay for us to use. Now the price has gone up to 150 and now it's starting to get a little bit more expensive. So we're going to see. We, mm. we, we will keep it this year and we'll see how it goes. We only have the RV version, uh, which means that we are deprioritized anywhere, but we love the fact that we can turn it off and turn it back on when we're at our home base. For example, this winter, we just turned it off because we're not going to use it yep. here at our home base. When we hit the road, we'll turn it back on. All right, was there one more? Um, or was I, it? I thought they were changing Starlink as well. Was it just a price increase? Price increase. Ah, uh, okay, of course. Uh, what are we going to uh, try next? Ah, uh, so here's one, and we'd love your feedback. We've heard really good things about the T-Mobile Home. Ah, internet. yes. And so I haven't looked into this, I don't know how much it is, but everyone has said, no, it's fantastic. It's really good, really reliable, really fast. Uh, and so we will probably look into that. So if anyone has any details on that or, or experience, I've only heard good things. So Maybe I'm our collaborationists. Maybe our collaborationists, yes. We will go and watch their videos and <laughs> see if we can get an affiliate link for them. Um, so yeah, the T-Mobile is probably our next one that we're gonna try. Um, Honestly, all of this depends on how you RV. So I'm interested yeah. in the other guys. Like if you just need to like, just need your phone or you just need some phone. small stuff. Yeah. We're nerds, we need the internet for all of this stuff. Like we're probably the, the the top end of the scale of what we need. So we are willing to put the money and the effort and the research in to get really good internet. And lots of backups. For some people, we're probably spending like $220 a month or something on internet sources. Yeah. But we need it, right? We need it to pay the bills, I need to work, we have the YouTube channel, we need to upload the videos, all of this lot, so we need it. If you're just at home and you're, or you're just a weekender and you don't really need anything, use your hotspot. Yeah, use your phone. It's phone. free, you're already paying for it, so yeah. just use that, it's typically okay. Yeah. So anyway, sense. thank you for watching. I rambled way longer than I should have again. <laughs> so uh, go and watch the other guys' videos. I'll put all the links below in the description. Um, they, Like I said, they all travel differently. Yep. Some of them are weekenders, some of them have families, some of them do homeschooling, some of them don't work from it the rig at all. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm very interested in what they say. So anyway, thank you for watching. Um, please like, subscribe if you'd like 
more videos like this. Um, I can't remember the rest. There is a thanks button. If this really helped, feel free to hit that. <laughs> Got that one in. And um, we're going to leave some, the playlist up here so that you can click on it to see everyone else's videos. And uh, if you'd like to come a brazier and support a couple of tits, you can hit the join button. Thank you to everyone who has already done that. We really do appreciate you. We will see you guys next month for the collaboration and at the weekend for an excellent video that I can't remember. <laughs> I haven't even edited it yet, gonna be honest. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be done by Sunday. Two days to go, two days to go. <laughs> right, uh, bye.